are getting a new look from inside a Cap Metro bus as it collides with a University of Texas engineering student. That accident caused an annual tradition in the engineering school to come to an end. KXAN's Jacqueline Inglace joins us live tonight in Austin with more on this story. Jackie, good evening. Good evening to you, Shannon. That video shows the driver did not run this red light here behind me when that accident happened. But even though he was found to be following the law, he did violate CAP Metro policy. All you can keep your eyes on watching this video for the first time is 18-year-old Nick Engman getting hit by the bus. The bus came out of nowhere and just nailed him. Slowing the video down, however, shows important details. Just watch. At the beginning, you can see the driver stopped at a green light. Then the light turns yellow and the driver accelerates. The video clears the driver of running a red light, something that was unclear when this shocking video captured by a fellow student made its way onto Facebook. It's good news. We definitely want all of our bus operators to be uh, following all traffic, traffic laws, so that's great. Nonetheless, the video also proves the driver violated CAP Metro policy. All drivers are trained to stop at stale green lights and yellow lights. He's still not driving quite as safely as we would like to see, and, and there will be an opportunity for retraining. The driver has been on administrative leave since the accident, but is expected to return to work Wednesday. He'll likely face disciplinary action that will include a written warning. As for the ticket APD issued him, so technically, you know, I, he did, didn't run a red light and he's probably going to get the ticket dismissed. But what happens with the ticket will depend whether or not the bus driver decides to fight it in court. A toxicology test shows the driver of that bus did not have any alcohol or illegal drugs in his system at the time of the accident. As for Engman, he has still not yet spoken publicly about this accident. When I reached him earlier this afternoon by phone, he told me his focus right now is studying for finals. Live on the UT campus, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News.